Okay. Okay, welcome everybody. Welcome everybody to another edition of the Illuminati News Hour, right here, Illuminati Radio Podcast Show, with your host, Pastor Michael Smith, and co-host, Sister Big Bram. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button, and there's a little bell right there next to the subscribe button. Hit that bell so you'll be notified when we drop this breaking news on you. Make sure you guys hit that like button as you guys come in here. Hit that like button. Okay, and uh, don't forget, before we get into this report, every night at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, tonight at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, it's the Bible study class, live Bible study class. Go on over to 90.1 Israelite Radio on Facebook. Go to Facebook, type in 90.1 Israelite Radio, and hit that follow button while you're over there so you can tune into tonight's Bible study class. All right, so it's the Big Brim. We have Kodak Black, Super Gremlin, and we got Code uh, NBA Drag Boy. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, he's in drag. He came out. He came out of prison. He he went into prison a thug. He came out of prison a young thug. Yo, makeup, and he wants to say, "Oh, I'm gothic." I'm different. Yeah, we know you different, NBA. We know you different. Anyway, um, you know, you know, NBA Youngboy um supposedly had turned down a ten million was it I think it was ten million dollar deal from Atlantic Records. Cause I did that report. Oh you yeah. did? Yeah, yeah. I was a couple of a couple of months ago. It was announced that he have turned down an Atlantic, uh, a $10 million Atlantic deal. I think it was $10 million, something like that. But uh, what's Super Gremlin talking about, Sister uh, Big Bro? Kodak Black wants to renegotiate his record contract after NBA Youngboy Inc. Um, was sentenced to 60 million deal. Kodak Black wants to How true is that? We're about to find out. Because racket labels is not really giving those them 60. Uh, uh, have you ever in 2022 have the record label ever given any rapper a 60 million dollar deal? Not that I know of. <laughs> That's, I mean, I don't think Michael Jackson got a 60 million dollar deal. You have to be doing some large slurping and gurping. Sixty million dollar deal? I think this is a, uh, I think this is exaggerated. This is, if you ask me, because I don't think lab labels is not kept passing out no damn deals like that. But go ahead. Yeah, yeah, you know, uh, -huh. you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They pass out a, a three sixty deal. Now, now, if it's a $60 million deal, it'll be a $60 million 360 deal. Where they own you. They own everything you do. Everything they put behind you, they own. And you are just a puppet dressed in whatever outfit they want you to dress in. Dancing and chucking and jiving. If they, gonna, if they sign you to a $60 million deal, you ain't owning nothing. Not in 2022. You know, it, 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 NBA Young Boys fan base is not, can't is not even producing sixty million dollars. That's what they said. He's supposed to. They said he had a you. He was a YouTube. You know what I'm saying? A uh, uh, rapper. And they said he was. You know what I'm saying? He got a YouTube cult like following or something like that. But not even his his followers. You know what I'm saying? Not even his fan base is. You know what I'm saying? It's producing sixty million dollars. I don't, I don't I don't think so. You know what I'm saying? But uh, go ahead. Kodak Black wants to renegotiate his recording contract after NBA Youngboy announced he signed a deal for sixty million. Little Youngboy. What's his name? Um, Little Youngboy. Little Youngboy. Yeah. 
<laughs> little young boy. Okay, all right. Go ahead. A little young boy said he's about to fulfill his deal. I'm fulfilling my deal too. Yak told his fans on Instagram Live, I definitely can't let him be out his deal and moving on and getting to that big, that real bag. And I just be sitting back and just still in my fucking deal. No, I'm done too. I've seen Jit come out some 60 million shit, so I need 60 on, I need 60. On Instagram, young boy wrote August 5th, this Friday, pre-order now the new little top, real surprise feature, don't want to miss the classic with Atlantic Records at artist, at artist page. How we came in the game at Mike Karen. I am, I appreciate you. For that phone call at its step, I am now sixty million dollar. I'm now a sixty million dollar nigga. You little puppies, August fifth, the last swim toe pre-order now. I'm sorry, I'm not. I'm not believing that. Mm -mm. Nah, nah. You mean to tell me these hook nose bastards? You know what I'm saying? It's going to give NBA young boy. Whose fan base is not capable of producing sixty million dollars, <laughs> six a uh, sixty million dollar deal. I, I mean, come on, just make that make sense. Records is not selling like that no more. You got to do publicity stunts to even to break even. Come on, I, 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 listen. If you, I, I'm not believing. I have to see it in black and white. I have to see NBA Young Boy's contract to believe. You know what I'm saying? That he got a sixty million dollar deal. I think this is a publicity stunt. Another one. Exactly. Because not too long ago, and everybody who follows NBA Young Boy, not too long ago, because I did the report on NBA Young Boy. Um, I think it was um, for what, I don't know what month it was. Was it May? It's been May or April. Uh, it would came out that he turned down a ten million dollar. Uh, 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 um, he said he was going independent. He 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 um he had uh, uh, uh um somebody I think somewhat released from his label, Capitol Records. And he was uh, not Capitol uh, uh Atlanta Records, and he was supposed to be independent. You know what I'm saying? He's supposed to be a free agent. Because, you know what I'm saying, he turned down a $10 million deal. That, that is what was said. And anybody who followed NBA Youngboy back, I believe it was back in May or April, that's what happened because I reported on that. And now I'm supposed to believe that these hook-nosed bastards that gave this Negro $60 million for what? For what? I think he meant to say that he was in Atlanta City and hoping on 60 yeah. For what? Boy, oh boy, oh boy. I, I guess they said, if you make the lie big enough, Negroes will believe it. <laughs> That's what it is. If you make the lie big enough, Negroes will believe it. I'm not believing. NBA young boy, a, a rapper... Who don't even have a his, whose fan base can't even produce sixty million in order? This is let me tell you something. And these hook nose bastards, you know what I'm saying? Is not going to invest sixty million dollars into somebody that they know that they cannot pull sixty million dollars out of him. I mean, a couple million, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, if he, now, now, don't get me wrong. If he did sign, it would be a 360 deal, and the label will own everything he owns. His image. And that, that's probably why he's in makeup and everything. His image, you know what I'm saying? His clothes, his, his, his house, his car, you know what I'm saying? Every album he dropped is not his, it's the label's. You know what I'm saying? Everything that he owns is the labels. That's the only way that he can get $60 million. You know what I'm saying? And Kodak Black, you need to stop it. 
You know what I'm saying? Even the kids, they own them too. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. They own them too. You know what I'm saying? Them, 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 uh, them, them Jewish people ain't, ain't trying ain't trying to give you no sixty million dollars. Really? You know what I'm saying? They they barely they barely giving people why why do you think Nicki Minaj gotta do what she's doing? You know what I'm saying? You see what they did to uh uh what's his name? Bobby Smurder. Bobby Smurder came out of jail and he still ain't came out with dropping nothing. <laughs> exactly. Uh, come on, come on, stop it, stop it, yak. You know, stop it, stop it, NBA young boy. I mean, not NBA young boy, Kodak Black. I won't be too surprised, you know what I'm saying, Kodak, and Kodak Black, the reason why Kodak Black is even talk about this, just to put some light on, to, to sell more albums that he got to recoup from his label. Yes, Yak, or Kodak Black, he may be selling music, but he still got to sell more music, because he got to recoup. You see, he got to recoup. So, the more, more publicity stunts that Yak, or Kodak Black, come out with, it just more hype and makes him sell more, because he got to recoup as well. Mm, mm, mm. You know what I'm saying? That's why he came out on Donald Trump's birthday with a Donald Trump chain with Donald Trump face on it saying he's celebrating Donald Trump's birthday. Yak. Anyway. Okay, you drinking too much yak. <laughs> yeah, you drinking too much yak? Tack and pack. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He need a tan packs. That's what he needs. You know what I'm saying? Damn, NBA young boy needs to stop it. NBA young boy coming out and saying this because he's dropping an album, and he has to drop an album because he. You gotta remember, NBA young boy is still out on bond. He's still in Utah on house arrest. He still got to pay that. Utah mansion, he got to pay his mansions, he got to pay his staff, engineers, he got to pay his lawyers. So no matter how much money NBA young boy claim he got, that is dwindling if you ain't bringing in that same amount that's going out. You see, NBA young boy just got out of jail. You understand? He just got out of jail. And the terms of his jail was what? He got to remain under house arrest in Utah. So he had to get a damn, he had to pay for a mansion, pay for a house in Utah to rent. And I think that's like 12, it is 12 or 17,000 a month. He's paying for that damn house in Utah because that's part of his parole or part of his getting out. So you got that coming out every month, 17000 every month he's paying for that. Then you got to pay your engineers, pay your security, you know what I'm saying? You got to pay for the houses that you already got, you got to pay for that. You got to pay for your lawyers. So you got all this money coming out, you got to have as much going back in. So these rappers, you think that they got it like that? No, they don't. Publicity stunts is what they need to do. Sixty million dollars. I ain't gonna believe that. Not coming from that in this generation. They not passing out deals like that. They barely was passing out deals back then. Did Michael Jackson get a sixty million dollar deal, sister Big Brother? Hell no. How about Winnie Houston? Nope. And these are icons. You all know say Aretha Franklin? Uh -uh. Damn. They, if they're not giving no icons, or if they have not given no icons, no $60 million deal, what makes you think they're going to give a peon a $60 million deal? Uh -uh. I don't work uh -uh. that way. Anyway, that's it, Sister Brooke, Big Brother? That's it.
All right, that's going to wrap this up. Thanks for tuning in and logging on to another edition of Illuminati News Hour podcast show, right here, Illuminati Radio Podcast, with your host, Pastor Michael Smith, co host, Sister Big Brett. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when we drop some breaking news on you. Hit that like button as you guys come in here. Um, and don't forget, tonight at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the Bible study class on the Facebook page, which is 90.1 Israelite Radio. That's 90.1 Israelite Radio. Go to that Facebook page, hit that follow button, and tune into tonight live Bible study class tonight at 9 o'clock.